Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the fifth day of December. After a really nice day yesterday, things change as the weather turns wet and cool around here in coming days. Let's check out the uh, Skycam Network images early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. How about a look at downtown Clanton down in Chilton County? Looking nice there with all the Christmas lights and the tree decorated nicely. Kind of a good south breeze there blowing those flags around. There's the uh, Jasper Skycam from the King Building in Walker County. And a look at downtown Fayette up in northwest Alabama. All right, got that big trough back in the southwestern states, and the surface front is parallel to the upper air winds, and ahead of that, basically going nowhere. That front, as you can see, is between Muscle Shoals and Memphis, and still raining up there. We've had uh, rain for the past 24 hours. That's the uh, Columbus Air Force Base radar, and light rain is still falling north and west of the state, but it's just be, being a very slow process and getting down in here. You can pick out that front with those temperatures. Uh, Memphis, 43. Tupelo, 63. Yeah, I'd say that front is between those two cities. Uh, still north and west of Alabama, so we're pretty mild. Birmingham at 60. And as usual, the cool spot, Gadsden, they've got 48. Most spots are in the uh, uh, 50s around here this morning. But, boy, back in that cold air, it is cold. Readings are hovering around zero or sub-zero values over parts of Montana and Wyoming around uh, West Yellowstone. But don't worry, the core of the cold air will stay well to the north of us. We'll catch the edge of it in coming days. There's the watch warning map. We've got uh, flash flood watches from near Shreveport to Cleveland. That includes Memphis, but uh, no flash flooding issues here as the rain should be, uh, eh, you know, moderate to light. There's the rain for the next five days, suggesting maybe about three quarters of an inch to one inch here. Heavier totals near Memphis, and I think that's about right. The the NAM is printing three-quarters of an inch. The GFS printing one-half inch. So uh, we figure rainfall amounts of one-half to one inch can be expected for North Alabama. We'll check the 06Z GFS valid at noon today. You can see the energy hanging back in the southwest United States. That'll keep that front uh, to the north and west. There's the surface chart. Same deal. Still raining in the same places. Memphis, Shreveport, up towards Cincinnati. And that's where the flooding issues are. And around here, just cloudy and mild. Maybe a shower later today, but, uh, you know, it really will be pretty decent. I mean, we're talking highs up around 70. Tomorrow, the front eases in here, and you see how the GFS really drops the amount of rain with this thing. Uh, so just some light rain at times. And we turn cooler. We'll be in the 50s all day tomorrow. But notice the really cold air is still to the north and west. And Wednesday, again, uh, clouds, some, some rain around, but just light rain or drizzle, nothing really heavy. And that could be a pretty raw day. Temperatures will peak in the low 50s probably. And some folks north of here could stay in the 40s all day. Uh, the good news, the, uh, the the weather not looking as cold as it looked last week. It looked like we'd have several days with highs only in the 40s. And again, on Wednesday, maybe some spots will hold in the 40s. But uh, on the other hand, most guidance suggesting low 50s here. And Thursday, uh, we've got the... Can you tell I'm, my voice is not working well today? Uh, Thursday, the... Uh, cyclogenesis is occurring off the Atlantic coast and everything moving away from us. And we're clearing out here. We'll check the uh, European. This is valid at noon uh, tomorrow, noon on Tuesday. Very similar to the GFS. It's got light rain. Wednesday, rain on the way out. Look at the 540 line down to uh, Birmingham. That might even suggest a few snow flurries up in the Tennessee Valley uh, Wednesday morning. We're not going to mention that for now. We'll kind of review that. And, but one way or the other shouldn't be a big deal. And Thursday, everything's gone. Should be a bright, sunny day if this is right. And Thursday would be a cool day with highs uh, probably in the low 50s, despite the return of sunshine. Okay, Friday back to the GFS. Sunny and cool weather continues. And Saturday as we start the weekend. Got broad troughing over the east and down below that. Looks like a pretty chilly day. Uh, the 540 line is down around Huntsville. And uh, that would suggest a high only in the low 50s on Saturday. Maybe upper 40s up in the Tennessee Valley. And Sunday would be cool and dry with a high again in the low 50s. And we should be below freezing both Saturday and Sunday morning with lows in the 20s. So uh, cold mornings will certainly headline the weekend. And a week from today, things look uh, pretty quiet. We'll check the end of the forecast December 20th, five days before the big day. Negative tilt trough passing through just north of here. Deep surface low near Chicago. That might even bring up some thunderstorms if this is right. 
Uh, so we'll see. And this is voodoo. This might not happen. But again, there's the teleconnections, the North Atlantic Oscillation, that bottom chart showing the, the NAO being positive for about the next uh, 10 days or so. Then it kind of trends neutral back out there toward mid-month. And again, you know, with a positive NAO, it can be cold here, but it's just hard to get really super-duper cold air or long-lasting cold snaps in here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.